this little guy I made out of Instamore. I did not film this because he was previously built. It's not that hard. I will show a picture of uh, the Instamorph you use. This is what Instamorph looks like, and this is what we used for uh, the little teeny attacker. So when you melt it in hot water, just follow the directions on the Instamorph, and uh, don't burn yourself because this stuff, hot water will burn you, and so will this stuff. So be very, very careful. And I made his little arm, and I have a sword. And I stretch the Instamorph like this. Then I put the fork in there. I'm going to show you how to paint them and make them look more realistic. But this is a little guy. This is how thin the arms are. And I sandpapered the fork, a plastic fork. Okey -dokey. Only paint the outside and the inside of the hands. You want to leave the very top unpainted so you can hot glue the hair to the doll. Now do a heat treatment for five minutes or till dry. Do not heat too long or, or he will start melting. The paint I used needed to be layered and layered, then mod podged so it wouldn't chip. For the eyes, I used nail polish, get a little dot on the brush, and gently dab it on the center of the eye. I broke a fork earlier, so I'm using the end of the fork. Gently take away the little bit of nail polish that was going too far out of the eye and gently scrape it off ever so slightly. Get an old doll head. You can get any kind of hair color you want. I wanted blonde so I could make it blue and red like mine. You want to cut the middle of the face in half. Keep the back of the head with the ears. Then place it on the doll you made. Cut the head till it fits right. Leave enough room so you can put hot glue in there so you can glue it to the doll. I had to cut most of the neck part off so it actually fit the head of the doll. Now cut the eyes where the eyes are. Curve the cut to the hairline. Trim around the face line until it looks right. Keep the ears on the side. Put the hair on the doll, then measure the length that you like. Then get a hairband and cut below the band. Now coloring time. It's easier to use a paper plate to color the hair on. Comb out the hair before you color it and after you have colored it. Leave the ends blonde to later color them. Part the hair in half and color on.
Done with the blue. Now for the red ends. Comb hair before you do red. Get a black sharpie and outline the eyes. Then put an iris in the middle of the eye. I am using the arm sleeve from my ash shirt that I made in a previous video, link above. Destitch the end of the sleeve. Before you wrap up the arms, put the cloth on the body to see how it looks. You have the size of your little shirt. Fold in the little ends, make a lip, then hot glue them down. These are the sleeves to wrap around the arms. Wrap the fabric around the arms and then hot glue it. Make it look like it's a cape. Now you are making the neck collar slash shirt. This is what it should look like. Gluing all of this to the arms. Burn the end so it looks more worn down. This is what the neckline looks like in the front of the shirt. Right where my finger is, put a button under the collar. Put the center of the lower back just a little so you can wrap it around the body to make it look like you put it in a knot. Burn the edges where the knot will be. Now we're making the short. Grab your little ash and put the fabric around the bottom, then cut the length for the short. You want the illusion of a zipper. The way to do this is to put the line of the fabric in the front. If the shorts are too long, just cut the access away. to glue a little in the middle so the inner lining didn't move. Put the fabric around the body while it's still warm. Get a black sharpie and make a line to part the shorts you want it to look like he has legs. Now you need a little fabric to make little pockets. Glue a little lip to have a three-dimensional look on top of the pocket. Cut the bottom to look like a triangle. The inner lining had three layers. Glue them down. This is how the back of the shorts should look like. Mix the black and rust metallic paint together. Paint the bottom inside lip. Do a heat treatment for 5 to 10 minutes. Then get the black sharpie you used earlier and sharpie the spot for the legs again. Mix the red and black acrylic paint together to make it look more like cuts and dried up blood. Mod Podge the shorts, then when done, heat treat for 5 to 10 minutes. After you are done, glue the shorts onto the body. I 
I am twisting the ends and gluing it down to make it easier to make the knot glue down. I'm positioning the front of the shirt. I ended up having to make my own knot. All you have to do is get a little scrap of fabric and burn the end and cut it in half and then gluing it onto the shirt. Now you're going to put the button on. This is what it should look like. Mix the red and black paint again and now we're going to make cuts and bruises on Ash's shirt. Okay, the thing is, my camera didn't get the part of me hot gluing the hair on. It's very, very easy. Just follow these steps. A ton of hot glue where you see the hair inside. Then put it on the little ash and apply pressure. This is the end result. I really hope you liked this tutorial. Please like and subscribe. There is still more to see. Bye!